Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is revelry and this is about going out there and having some fun, meeting some people, putting yourself out there and, you know, relaxing really. And it looks like if you do that, you're going to be uh, attracting in a new relationship. Uh, so you've got the lover uh, card coming in over here. So you might be meeting somebody from the past, bumping into somebody from the past, but definitely if you get yourself out there, get out there and socialize, it seems like you're going to be opening the doorway uh, for a new relationship to enter. And this might be, end up being your soulmate. Um, so, uh, you know, don't isolate yourself. Don't keep yourself locked up uh, and or, you know, focused on your work only. It's time for you to get out there, have some fun and invite that new relationship in. So in the past, you've got the grace card over here. So, you know, there are people and friends around you that you have been relying on uh, for support and they have been helping you get through a difficult situation. Um, you know, you are looking for somebody to come into your life that will be faithful to you and will offer you that hope. Um, you know, you've been, you know, you might have been uh, with a lot of friends. These friends are very faithful friends, obviously, and they've been getting you through that emotional difficulty that you've been going through. Now, going into the future, you've got the reflection card. This is about thinking too much about the past, uh, but also having hope for the future as well. So this is about looking at your circumstance and having learned a lot of lessons from that problem that you went through. And this is spiritual sustenance, so you have been growing. Uh, so whatever difficult situations you went through, there was a lot of growth that came in, and it looks like even this new relationship that comes in is going to bring in a lot of spiritual growth. So you've got that soulmate card coming in over here. Uh, like I said, it might be somebody that you're meeting from uh, the past um, and it's going to bring in a lot of growth and a lot of uh, happiness as well and a lot of balance you can see this woman's pouring uh, the contents of one cup to the other this is like the temperance card over here so whatever this new relationship is, is going to bring in uh, balance and growth and it's going to bring in um, uh, you know a lot of happiness and a lot of healing for you so it's time to get out there and put yourself out there and accept invitations uh, should they come your way So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Cymbalon deck. And this is not a tarot deck, uh, but we're going to do the main reading with it. It's not going to have the same uh, symbology as the Rider White, uh, Rider Waite deck. So. so. It looks like you've parted companies with somebody, uh, you know, whatever that relationship is, you said your farewells and you're moved on. It seems like you've gone your own way. There was a lot of drama and a lot of problems that happened over here. They've gone their own way. You know, you're all now living separate lives and you are not in communication with each other anymore. So what's happening with you? Uh, it looks like you've been getting some kind of advice from somebody. Maybe you've been getting some counseling or even some spiritual advice. This is the confession card. So you've been talking about your problems to somebody and it seems to be somebody that is a very good close friend of yours. So you have been airing uh, all your emotional problems and somebody has been listening to you and giving you some really good solid advice. And it might even be spiritually based, that advice. But you are definitely uh, um, getting... Uh, advice and this is what you're using to get through the situation now in that relationship you were feeling very very trapped uh, you know as though that person was trying to control you and you didn't know, have a way out and this is what happened in the last year or so so whatever that relationship was was very restrictive and you know uh, even though you it was it seemed to be really good it really wasn't because it was preventing you from doing what you wanted and you were very unhappy in it um, it seems like uh, in the last um, few months, you've been doing a lot of traveling, maybe a lot of international communication, a lot of messages coming in for you. It looks like there was a lot of traveling. Maybe it's to do with your work uh, and, you know, you've been getting out there. So maybe you've not had enough uh, time to focus on getting into a new relationship. You've definitely undergone some kind of transformation. You've got these but this butterfly over here or these butterflies here. Um, and this has been, you know, on your journeys, or on your trips, or meeting other people, you are changing your views. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, you might be dealing with a lot of international people as well, a lot of communication. Now, you are trying to manifest a relationship over here. You've got the magician over here. And on the other hand, this might just be the magician that you're just very, very busy with your work, but you're trying to manifest something and you're very focused on it. This could be being too focused on your work aspect of things, or you could be focusing on trying to manifest this new relationship in your life. 
Now, whoever you've been dealing with has been very, very aggressive. You've got this uh, Mars in Aries card over here. So uh, maybe you can't communicate with this person. This might be the re previous relationship that you've been in. Uh, you know, they are maybe very uh, verbally abusive. And maybe everything that you've said to them has been, you know, ended up in some kind of battle. It's always been a war. Uh, you can see this person's lying dead on the path over there. So it's, it seems like whatever they've been saying has been very nasty and, you know, very aggressive and um, uh, you really don't have the ability to communicate with them. It seems like they're still around causing, maybe they, they're causing problems with you and maybe dealing with them has been very, very difficult for you. Now you're getting on with things. You're just getting on with day-to-day -day things, your mundane life. You're not uh, doing anything, uh, you know, out of this world or, you know, you're focusing on your work, it seems, and, and that's what's going on. You're trying to find your balance. You're just getting on with things. Now, you feel as though whatever you put in um, to that situation really was not, um, you know, very um, productive for you. It seems like you, you feel as though whatever uh, um, um, effort you put into that relationship was very detrimental to you. Also, you know, you could have had a, a legal um, separation from this person and maybe everything didn't go in your favor. So whatever the, the ruling was, was not in your favor because this man is trying to pull the sword out of the stone and it seems like it's not even moving. So, um, you know, you, you have... Uh, um, can't communicate with this person as well because your efforts to communicate with this person have been futile and also whatever effort you put into that relationship has not worked out um you, you know you, it's, you feel as though you've wasted your time and also if there was a legal ending to that situation it, it didn't seem to have gone in your favor so what you're waiting for you're waiting for some kind of change to come in you maybe you're isolating yourself too much and waiting for that change you might be doing a lot of praying as well uh, you know trying to focus on your spirituality but very very isolated from every everybody else and you can see this hand going up to the hand of god so you are looking for some kind of spiritual advice and spiritual direction um and this is the end of the uh, uh moon cycle so it seems like the this situation is coming to an end. So what's going on in the future for you? You're making new plans and maybe there's somebody that you're very attracted to as well. So you have a new vision for the future. You're, uh, you know, you're, you're getting over the situation. You're finding that balance back in your life and you're making new plans. Um, you know, you're also a lot of truth has come to light or will come to light for you. You've gotten over difficult situations. The clouds are behind you. The rainbow is in front of the clouds. That means that, you know, uh, that is now the past. Whatever you dealt with is now finished and over and now you will be moving on. But a lot of spiritual insights and a lot of truth coming to light. So there might have been a lot of deception within in this relationship, but it's now all the secrets are being revealed to you. You can see there's the deception card over here. So these two are sitting next to each other. So maybe that previous relationship that you were dealing with was, you know, with somebody who was deceiving you quite a bit. Uh, you know, you've got this um, Mercury here in um, Virgo here. You know, whatever it was, was, uh, uh, you know, the communication was based on deception and lies. Uh, and also Neptune here in Pisces. So it's talking about, you know, uh, them saying things or doing things, uh, pretending to do things, uh, but, uh, you know, for your benefit, but it was not true. It was all lies. It was all, uh, you know, smoke and mirrors, if you like. So nothing really worked out uh, because they were speaking a lot of lies. And right now, things are coming to light. You, uh, you know, this, these secrets are being revealed. And this is allowing you to see uh, things from a different perspective and now starting to make new plans and get over the situation. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And this is for advice. So the first card is uh, the Ace of Gabriel, which is saying, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So this is the beginning of something new. Now, the Ace of Gabriel could be the beginning of a sexual relationship that you start. So there might be something that you're very attracted to and something new comes in. So this is like the Ace of Rods, something brand new, a new energy, a new power coming in. Uh, so something brand new coming in for you. You've got the Three of Gabriel over here. So prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step, optimistic planning. 
plans that turn out expected. So this is, you know, the Three of Gabriel is about collaborating, usually it's the Three of Rods, collaborating with a lot of people, speaking to a lot of people, communicating with a lot of people, making a lot of new friends. And this could also be a card about traveling internationally. Maybe your job is taking you all over the world, and this is allowing you to meet a lot of new people, and this might be where you meet this person and start a new relationship. Now you've got the Magician card over here. You can manifest the life you want. You um, What you need will magically appear successful beginnings. So that might be a new relationship that is beginning, uh, and you're, you yourself have been thinking about it, and you are trying to manifest it. You've got the Magician in your mind as well over here in the main read. So it seems like, you know, uh, whatever you are focusing on, if this is what you want, this is what you will get. So if you want this new relationship and you are concentrating on it and you want to move on, it looks like you will be able to manifest this relationship. The magician also warns, though, uh, be careful of people who lie and who deceive. So, you know, be careful of smooth talkers, rather. Uh, you don't want that kind of energy into your life. But all in all, it's a very positive card, and it's ruled by Mercury. Mercury is about communicating, so make sure you have open communication and also, you know, being able to manifest things. It's also a card that's saying that you might be really busy soon, you know, busy traveling, busy meeting people. So, uh, you know, it's not a time for you to isolate yourself. It's a time for you to get out there, put your energies out there, and leave the past behind. This person seems to be very, very aggressive, or seems to be very nasty. Um, you know, uh, they seem to be very dominating. And it's time for you to let go of them, because you are wasting your time uh, putting your energy back into that relationship. It, think, it looks like things are going to start moving for you quite quickly, and something new is coming in in the form of that relationship. So if you've said goodbye to them, let it go and move on. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.